Hey, welcome back. Once again, my name is Abby from Optima Communications. Today, we're going to be showing you something really cool. I'm going to be showing you how to create an extension in IP Office, change the name on the extension, and also swap the extensions throughout the office. So stay tuned. I know you're going to like this one. All right. Let's click on the user tab here. We're basically going to look at your extension range and figure uh, an extension available. At that point, you right click select new enter the name in this field um, in this field you're going to enter the first and last name close I'm going to use test test as an example and just copy and paste this over to full name and put a space between the first and the last name enter the extension number here All right, here you can turn voicemail on and off Enter a voicemail code, email, you'd be able to copy it, forward it, or just alert. Um, I'm going to turn this extension into a login extension. Uh, we're just going to enter the extension number here. Hit OK on that. Next, uh, you just want to make sure your short code is built out to log in the extension. So let's go to short codes. Mine, I know it's already built out, so I'm just going to find it. And at this point, if you don't have it built out, you might want to just copy the way I have it built out here. If you do make changes, then just click OK. And remember to always save your configuration. We're going to merge. Copy and paste the password. You just created an extension. Alright, so just notice that the phone right now currently says Abby Mayal as the user. And if we log in the other extension, 291, we'll see the change. There you go, and that's how you change uh, extensions throughout the office. Alright, so here we're going to uh, just change the name on the extension by deleting what's there. We enter the new name. We're going to copy and paste it to where it says full name, but add the space between the first and the last name. Hit OK. Save. Merge it. Copy and paste the password, administrator, administrator. And that's how you change the name on the extension. Alright guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, keep in mind when you're changing the name on the extension, you also want to change the name announcement on that extension. Easily done. Log into the voicemail on that extension and hit 5-5 and re-record the name announcement. This will update your system directory so that the caller can hear the proper name on that extension. Once again, thank you guys for watching the video.